Hello and welcome to the highlights of the limited overs international match between Australia and Pakistan at the MCG. This is the second last of the preliminary games and these are the teams put into the field by the two skippers. Border is captain Australia, then there's Mark Taylor, David Boone, Dean Jones, the two wars, then Healy Dodamade comes into the side for the injured Michael Whitney, then it's Rifle, McDermott, May and Greg Matthews is again 12th man. Now Pakistan have to do well in this match, they must win for a start. Shavid Meandad is captaining them, then Ramis Raja and Amir Sohail, each of whom missed the game up in Brisbane at the weekend, come back in. Salim Malik, Inzamam ul Haq, Asif Mushtaba, Shahid Saeed is played as a batsman and medium pace bowler, Wasim Akram, Rashid Latif, Wakai Yunus, Akib Javed, and surprisingly Mushtaq Ahmed, the leg spinner, who had such a triumph here in the World Cup final and in other matches, has been made 12th man. Well, Alan Border won the toss and decided that uh, Australia would bat first. We join it now in the fourth over. None for three is the score. It's Akib Javed coming into the left hand of Mark Taylor and your commentators, Tony Gregg and Bill Laurie. Taylor drives beautifully. Spits it back between cover and mid-off. Confidence builder back for Mark Taylor. The outfield fast, the screen in good condition. Happy with three. Got Go on, good catch. I give Jarvid a strike. He's got the ball to move a little bit off the seam. And that was a magnificent catch. It's got a finger. Or a thumb. Cry of pain there from Dean Jones. You can see there Dean Jones just hanging his head as uh, he gets a bit of spray there from Errol Alcott, the Australian physio. And look at the handshaking. And again, they'll look for two. Not going to get it, that's 50 for David Boone. Yes, they've only been seven, and that's Dean Jones' 50. Up goes his bat, and on the feet. Oh, almost all of the crowd here. Oh, no, this will be out. And yes, it's taken, only just, mind you. Oh, it looked as if it was going down his throat, and just for a second, I thought he wasn't going to get there. Yes, I think a little bit of spin that Asif Mushtaba got here was a downfall of David Burns. Just short, no, he's caught it. Ball is claiming it. And the umpire's given it too, so... A very good catch in the end by Asif Mushtaba. And Mushtaba had a dive in front of himself. Picked up a good catch. That's going to go a long, long way. No need for Dean Jones to run. That's gone 20 metres back into the crowd. That's gone. That one's through, no doubt about that whatsoever at all. That's a pretty good knock from Dean Jones. Touch and movement. That came back beautifully. What a thing to see. To a last. Oh, that's out as well. That's well bowled by Wafi Yunus. This one kept slightly low as well. But this is a very good over for Pakistan. It's safe. Just over Jarvis' head at mid wicket. Chance for runner has gone, surely. He's gone this time, yes. He thought he was in trouble. Jarvid recovered very well. Ian Healy was watching what was going on. Took off for the second run. Alan Border didn't want it. And you can see why umpire Daryl Hare had no hesitation. That's well played. Over square leg. Sweepers are coming into play. They're through for two. Border slow. He won't come back to the third. He does. It's got to be out surely. Oh, he's trying to run in. Can you believe that? Dear, oh dear. Good running in the end. Three to Tony Dynamite. A good in short innings. And that was a very good performance from the Australians. We were saying something around about 205, 210 would do them, and that is almost what they did. They did two runs better. In fact, this is their card, and it looks pretty good at the end. Dottermaid came in, looked like a man uh, who'd made 100 rather than one who'd come over on the Red Eye Special to play in this match with uh, Whitney's withdrawal through injury. Four to 14 from 20 balls. The highlight, Dean Jones, who played very well for 84. David Boone made 64. And uh, the Pakistan bowlers, I thought, were quite magnificent out there.
a slow outfield, so that 212 is probably worth a few more. But Wasim Akram and Akib Javed and Wakai Yunus, I thought, were just terrific. Wakai Yunus, 10 overs, no maiden, 2 for 39. 10 overs, 1 maiden, no wicket for 28, Wasim Akram. So 213 to win for Pakistan. Slower outfield than they're used to. It won't be at all easy against uh, an Australian pace bowling attack and uh, captaincy that uh, just is looking towards the finals. Straight up in the air, Ian Healy, the man with the gloves. Simple catch, even though uh, Ian Healy just uh, caught his toe. He was probably into the side of one of the stretches of turf. This ground has been newly turfed, and the surface isn't perfect uh, as yet. It's very good, mind you. It's a very good shot. Now, just watch Healy's feet and watch his hand at the same time. It's just there. Well, hit Saeed on strike. That's out. He's dragged it on. It's not a very good shot. Certainly not a very good shot at all. Oh, he's got him. Caught behind. That one went flying off a thick edge. Healy took it very well. Yes, that was War's quicker one. Uh, and it did go up, and it was well taken by Healy. And there it goes. Border has pulled the right rein. He's brought McDermott back to claim a wicket. That's exactly what Alan Border was looking for. Pakistan needed to accelerate their scoring rate. Well, that's got to be out. Straight up in the air. Border won't drop that. Splash the ball in the air. Perhaps it was bowled slightly quicker by Mark Waugh. And that's gone in the air. It's coming down towards the fieldsman down a deep long on. It'll be out. Yes, that's well taken. Yes, that's the problem with that theory of uh, Pakistan's about getting anything off the last 10 overs. Wasim can't hit every ball in the middle. And he's just mistimed that one enough to give Mark War a simple catch. Charge, swing and a miss. He's gone, caught behind, he got an edge. Not a lot of deviation there, but quite a bit of noise. Always in trouble, Pakistan. Seven for 180 there, needing 213, and it was too much for them. Insamam remained unbeaten on 39, but they fell away. They lost their way halfway through when the Australians applied real pressure. It was a great performance from Alan Border and the team. When the pressure was needed, they put it on, and Pakistan couldn't get away from them. Seven for 180 in the bowling figures for the Australians. I thought McDermott was quite outstanding there with 10 overs, two maidens, and two for 26, one for 25 for Dottermaid, who came back from Perth on the Red Eye Special overnight, two for 37 for Rifle, who again bowled quite well, and Steve Waugh, Tim May, and Mark Waugh a wicket each.